2016 will be another full and exciting year for the European Space Agency. ESA's Comet Chaser will be in the news again when almost two years after Philae made its historic landing on the comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko the Rosetta orbiter will make a controlled landing on the comet surface with all instruments active to get as much data possible after observing the complete cycle of a comet in our solar system. 2016 will also be a Martian year with the launch in March of ExoMars and the landing in October of its Schiaparelli module containing a robotic lander. ExoMars 2016 will gather information and test out key technologies for the second part of the mission in 2018 when a European rover will drill up to two meters into the Martian surface looking for traces of organic molecules that indicate the presence of past or present life on Mars. But it's not all space exploration. ESA's Earth Observation Program will see the launch of three to four more Sentinel satellites. These spacecraft are part of a six-mission program with each mission made up of a two-satellite constellation looking at a specific area. Sentinel is the space element of Copernicus, the world's largest environmental monitoring system operated by the European Commission and providing highly accurate measurements of the Earth's oceans, land, ice and atmosphere. In 2016, ESA will also continue to build its Galileo satellite navigation program with the launch of four more satellites from Kourou and French Guiana set to join the existing satellites in orbit. With more than one third of the constellation up and running, Galileo early services are expected by the end of the year. ESA will take one more step forward in telecommunications with the launch in early 2016 of the first part of its European data relay system. EDRS is a space data network that will significantly speed up the flow of information between the low orbit satellites and their ground stations, improving the reaction time of a wide range of operations such as disaster monitoring, emergency operations and coastal and maritime surveillance. Towards the end of the year, ESA will see the launch of the first small geo-platform on Ariane 5, the AG-1 satellite under public-private partnership with operator Hispasat. Small geo should boost European industry's ability to play a significant role in the commercial satellite communications market. In 2016, as always, ESA astronauts will play a full role in the running of the International Space Station Timothy Peake, the first British East astronaut to visit the ISS, will be coming back in June after a six-month mission. And in November, the youngest member of the European Astronaut Corps, Frenchman Thomas Pesquet, will be travelling up on a Soyuz spacecraft to take his turn aboard the ISS. Finally, at the end of 2016, ESA's ministerial conference will take place at Lucerne in Switzerland, a key rendezvous for decisions about the future of Europe in space.